here. It's been a while since I posted a layout here. I've been in a, some kind of a struggle <laughs> recently, but I'm uh, going back to <laughs> regular creating. Today I would like to show you how to create this uh, very springish floral layout uh, using a pink, a yellow and green color palette. I picked few uh, pattern papers from various Minty papers collection and they are like, like really, really various collections. I have a paper from Farm Life, from very old springtime that it's already discontinued, um, from Lovely Day uh, and a few papers from the new basic book with a rainbow um, plain papers inside and I'm cutting some uh, hearts in four sizes using dies uh, and I will be using them uh, to create a composition on my page and uh, I'm uh, cutting like three or four biggest hearts, three or four medium hearts and so on using the papers I picked uh, from the stash. So this page is just perfect to use your um, six by six paper pads or paper scraps. I, I cut it out a few uh, hearts and now I'm moving to creating my mixed media background. I have 12 by 12 watercolor paper sheet prepared and I'm going to use this pretty um, background stamp from Pink Fresh Studio. I'm not sure the name, Luscious wine, Vines, this is what comes to my mind, but I will leave it, leave uh, the name here in the text later. Uh, and I'm using a Pilot Paint Distress Ink and I'm just randomly stamping on the page. I'm not using paper, uh, I'm not using um, acrylic block because I don't want the stamping to be like a full square. I'm trying to achieve like a, a blob, <laughs> I don't know how to call it. I do not mind that at some areas you can totally see the straight lines because I will uh, add some water over it and it will all float. Um, you can ask why you just didn't use the mist girl. So um, first of all, when it's all dry, you will still able to see like a shadowing of uh, of those leaves uh, it's not easy to see it right now with um, camera zoomed out but you can totally see it and uh, the color spreads different way then i would use just a regular mist now i took distress oxide uh, ink in twisted citron color this is much brighter ink and lighter than the pilot paint and it's uh, like a different type of ink but i didn't have this color in distress inks so it doesn't matter and i'm uh, repeating the stamping again uh, in very similar way but it will be like a second year layer with more leaves visible and after I finished, I decided I need <laughs> even more of this vivid green. So I took a, um, a water brush pen. You can use just a regular uh, brush. I was just having it on my hand. And I'm using the ink from Distress Oxide uh, Twisted Citron ink to paint uh, some random leaves that you can see on the pattern when you look from the close up. Um, and it didn't take me a long time, but I left the first layer to air dry. That's why my background isn't that wavy. I finished it in the evening of the previous day, left it to dry and uh, came back uh, the other day to finish the page. I also cut it out the hearts as I showed you and off the camera I took pieces of cardboard and backed each heart with one layer of cardboard and I also bended the edges. Uh, of each heart. My hearts have this false stitching around thanks to the dye I used so they have like an extra texture and I'm arranging them starting with the biggest ones in the middle of the composition. Those will be like a background for my picture. I prepared a square photo of my daughter uh, kind of sniffing flowers She's not a girly girl, she's very <laughs> like a boyish girl. She is not into pink, romantic elements and stuff like this. She's more into uh, gaming and computer programming and stuff like this. So moments when she looks like a pretty girl, 
like you know she's a pretty girl but like in this old-fashioned way are very rare and usually she wears short hair uh, in a mess <laughs> on her head but it was during the COVID so uh, she had her uh, hair longer than usual and she had this cute bun and I'm really like into this picture and I love uh, scrapbooking it I think it's the second or the first page I made um, with this photo or pictures from this photo shoot so I'm just embellishing it with cute hearts in three colors and I'm ready to glue down the picture but before I will do it I will create kind of a framing with a piece of paper around it if I would have the picture with white a frame cut it out from the paper I wouldn't add this layer but it was all cut it out like uh, close to the edges so I needed this pink uh, just the plain paper underneath and I'm also adding a piece of cardboard to lift it above the surface of uh, the heart so my picture is already a third layer I would say not counting the uh, zero layer of mixed media products and because of my background is uh, touched with inks you really have to press hard for uh, the hearts and the glue to stick to the mixed media surface uh, then I ran through uh, this fun product from Mintai those are books so those are the booklets filled with elements for fussy cutting and we have different themes of those books including four flora books filled with all variety of flowers in different colors and shapes and sizes and everything so plenty of flowers to choose from and i was using mostly flora book uh, one and flora book four which is a spring edition with spring flowers and i fussy cut a lot of them including the leaves too they you can find them in the books uh, too so I am arranging my flowers uh, uh, around the picture and over the hearts and at first I'm just putting elements down I'm not gluing anything right away uh, when I will be happy with everything I will come back and glue things down using pieces of foam or cardboard to add a little bit of uh, dimension to my page so I'm trying to decorate it in a spring way and uh, the layout is um, spring inspired uh, I'll just break it uh, this clock face is from another book called junk book so the layout is spring inspired because we are having a really fun a uh, YouTube hop with other girls uh, from uh, our Mintai uh, dream team with all the Mintai with all the spring inspired project and you can join the fun there I will leave you the link in the description box of this video where you can uh, just be inspired with so many amazing projects and also win three awesome prizes from Mintai and it's open worldwide so if you want to join um, I totally <laughs> invite you the hopping starts at Mintai Papers Instagram and you hop through all the profiles of uh, other girls including mine <laughs> so you can see the picture of the project there and I also prepared a um, process video for you if you would like to just follow my footsteps I am gluing down all the flowers because I'm happy how they are on the project I think I cut it out a part of this process because gluing down flowers is like really simple and boring I also fussy cut a few uh, butterflies and bees from wing book which is another booklet from Mintai and each book has uh, six different designs and each design comes in four um, uh, comes four times so you have 24 pages filled with elements of for fussy cutting so if you have fussy cutter it's a product you have to have um, and um, I'm reaching for those really really often because fussy cutting uh, makes me relaxed I like watching YouTube or Netflix and just cut in advance uh, after I finished the uh, embellishing uh, of the uh, of the hearts I thought that I am missing something here like too little pink I would say <laughs> too much green and yellow uh, so I uh, decided to 
cut a little bit of my watercolor background, like one centimeter from each side, and glued it over a pinkish pattern. This is the paper from uh, the Happy Place. I think happy place collection this is a very pretty pastel one uh, pastel line from last year and i really love this uh, pink grid uh, pattern and uh, i will also sew around um but i will do it like at the final stage uh, just before i will finish the page i also uh, I uh, decided uh, to add a title. Well, I love adding titles to my pages. Each of them has one. But I was struggling what the title to give. I was just too lazy to cut uh, letters. And I wanted to use something that is already done. So this title doesn't have any special meaning other than it describes my beautiful daughter. And it just fits the colors of the page. That's why it's beautiful and sweet. Um, so it's not one of those very meaningful uh, titles uh, that I like to create to like a funny ones. I just use the beautiful is from Pink Fresh Studio um, stickers and sweet is from uh, last year Paige Evans collection. So those are like an older stuff. I'm also embellishing area around the photo using those uh, cardboard stickers from Mintai Papers from um, uh, Better Times collection. They come in English and Polish version and I'm just using the English version here. And I'm also adding some smaller stickers from the sticker pad. You can see under the stickers from Mintai. Uh, they are from Dear Lizzie, but I cannot recall the name of the collection. I also have them for a while and I'm trying to use up some of my older stash too. <clears throat> So I'm embellishing everything using those stickers and I don't want to overshadow the flowers or butterflies or the background. So I'm just being uh, gentle <laughs> with all the things I'm adding to the page. I also uh, love adding like a different texture. So after adding the stickers, I always like to add some puffy stickers or um, enamel dots or things like that. So I will be reaching for those too. I find those uh, photo corners from also one of the very old Schimmel collections that I have and I use them too. This is like the basket you are seeing in the corner is the basket filled with those kind of like mm, enamel dots, uh, um, puffy stickers like hearts and stars, uh, woodies. So this is like a box of all this kind of embellishments and I'm going through it to find matching elements for my page. And I found those uh, enamel um, kind of uh, stickers, hearts that I brought from Australia when I was visiting in oh my gosh it seems so uh long ago 2019 i think and i forgot i have them this is the stitching that i said um, i am going to do and the final step is to splash everything down uh, with a pink mist for even more like a definition um i just like doing this i just like my <laughs> mixed media mess so i hope you like the page uh, don't forget to check the links in the description box uh, to join the fun and hop with us and here are some other videos you may, you may like uh, from me thank you so much for staying here uh, spending these 14 minutes with me and see you in the next time bye